What you need more than anything is this, is, is you got to play the beats of action. And the beats of action are simply this. First of all, what is it that you're doing? You are physically doing in the scene when she enters. Looking for the killer of her father. No, I'm but to like, what, then what do you wish to accomplish is what I'm saying. To find her father's killer. To solve so, the, the crime. Okay. When did this happen? This morning. This morning, your partner, almost like your marriage partner, she's looking to solve the crime with urgency. I mean, there's still a dead body at the morgue, and she's like, I gotta go back to the office and think, I think I know what to do. And when, so, when she comes into the scene, you gotta be busted. You're busted. I'm, I'm looking, I think I got this thing. I'm sorting this out. I'm thinking this is the simple one. I'm gonna cross him off the top of this one. Hi, um, don't know what to say to you. Where, where's your mom? <laughs> right? Because who is she to you? She's this little kid. She's a little kid. When in fact, you're not too far apart mm -hmm. in ages. Her dad was your mentor. You're the young partner. He talked a lot about you, how great you were, and inspired her to want to be a cop, just not the kind that gets shot at. You could be 27 years old. She could be 19. That's how close this is. Do you see what I'm saying in here? Don't make right. yourself a matriarch or a big old veteran detective. It's you. You're okay. good enough, 100%. Right? Right. 100 times more interesting than anybody you could pretend to be. So, I really want you to play your beats out here. I'm frantic, I'm desperate, I'm solving, I'm solving. I want to kind of, hi, how are you? Where's your mom? Is now, this what you do? is this what you do? Yeah, partly. partly. And she's going to nail you on this. Boy, you guys are all treating me like a little kid. Everybody's beating around the bush. Why does she come to you, Liz? Because you're the one person who's not going to treat her like a little kid after she disarms you a little bit. Mm -hmm. The first obligatory or habitual response to her is, yeah, all right, yeah, where's your mom? Or something like, what are you doing here without a grown-up? In the course of this scene, the journey is that she wins you over. Right. I got to see that. I gotta see you going from, I'm working alone, I'm desperate, I'm getting busted, I'm good. Who are you? What? Wow, you're smarter than I thought. Now, why would you ask her to come and live with you? Because I'm scared too. Also this, but what are you in the action of well, doing? I'm searching and I can pick her You're brain. solving a right. crime and she is a what? Criminal, Criminal psychology. psychology. She just looked right through you. you. You beat around the bush with her. Right. She said, oh, I see you're getting good at it too. You know, I have a degree in psychology. Ooh. Whoa. That's another transition for you in the scene where I got to see it. You know what? That's right. This is your partner's kid. kid. Hey, you want to stay with me? You know, you could be an asset. And I could, you know, you got to take her concern seriously. She's here. Listen, this is not a scene about two people in the same place at the same time wanting something different. This is a scene about two people in the same place at the same time wanting the same thing. The only thing is, is, is that there's a character difference here. You have rank, you think, at the beginning, and a sense of propriety over him because he was your partner. Well, guess what? She has rank and it's a sense of propriety. That's his daughter. And you two reconcile that seeming difference in this scene. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Right. Let's go again. Where's your mom? I think she left. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. Is this what you do? Part of it. It's about what happened to my dad, isn't it? What makes you say that? That's not an answer. There was a girl at the house when it happened. And I... she might have seen something. Oh, it's a little more complicated than that. Um, it's an ongoing investigation with a lot of evidence to assimilate. It... I see. You learned to talk in circles, too. Wait. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? I'm 19. I graduated high school when I was 15. And I got my degree this year. Wow, that's like... Dookie Hauser smart. <laughs> yeah. Look for it. You don't know what drawer it's in. It could be in any one of those three drawers. Uh, yeah. Here. I just happened to have a spare key. Thanks. Sam, we all loved your father too. He was like family. If it was any one of us this morning, and if it were him right here right now, I'm sure that he wouldn't rest until it was over, and neither will I. Well, thanks. How do you feel about what you just did? Did you do a good job with this young girl? Did you did you reach out to her? I felt like I, so I touched her. So when you watch her go, stick with that. That's yeah. your button. 
she gets up and leaves your space and you got to stay with her, do that exit again. Reassure her, comfort her. You just aligned it. You just gave her the key to your house. Come on. Sam, we all loved your father. He was like family to us too. And if it was any one of us this morning and he were here right now, I'm sure he wouldn't stop until it was over. And neither will I. Thanks. start to use this thing. There are a lot of uh, demands made on an actor that are absolutely not organic, if that's for lack of a better way to put it. And they don't allow you to connect in the same way. That's why preparation is so damn important, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's that combination that we talked about, about being so prepared that you can respond in the moment, but all of a sudden things have been changed like you're not facing in the right direction. Like somebody said to you, don't, when you look at her, don't really look at her, only look this far. For the camera, it looks like we're, you're looking at her because what we're gonna do is juxtapose the shot of you going like this to a shot of her going, and then we go, oh, she's looking at her. But you can't control any of that. The only thing you can control is whether or not you're playing your intention and making contact with your partner. Now, that gets harder to do because the conditions, the physical conditions of the scene change. But other than that, that you must always stay focused. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's almost like you're in reaction to it because Vinny threw a spin at you. Vinny said, well, do this. I don't want to practice it like this. So Vinny put her over there. She was over here. Vinny did that. Da, 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 da. Well, guess what? Welcome to the world of going to television. I told you, you get there with your lines memorized and then they tell you what you're doing. Um, I told you, I did that episode of The West Wing. I had this whole thing in my mind of how I thought it should be. I'm not directing. What do I know? I kind of told you, I got there, they sat me on a hotel bed. They said, you're sitting on the edge of the bed and talking to the guy. He came to your room to talk to you. And so you gave him the chair and you sat on the bed. That's, well, I, I never even imagined that. But you know what? The words were the same. The intentions were the same. My job was to convince him to get that vote changed. Now, I should have been able to do that whether they asked me to play hopscotch, balance a stick on my finger, juggle, whatever. And, and, and that's what I'm asking you to do with these little adjustments, is some juggling. Good, good work, good work.